wrestling fans, let's talk Elimination Chamber and our match card predictions. Let's recap who we think should be where rolling into Elimination Chamber and each match broken down and wow. With that being said, of course, hit that like, share this with your wrestling friends and community. And as always, hit that subscribe to become part of the Big Patty headquarters as we continue to grow our wrestling community here with y'all. First off, we have the woman who is going to be leading Elimination Chamber herself, Rhea Ripley. Now, Rhea Ripley has stated that she would like to be in the Elimination Chamber, that she likes the chaos of it likes just to have that dominance factor of her character especially with this being in her home i could see that happening but the more logical leading into this would be her going up against nia Jax. nia Jax has dominated rhea ripley for several weeks since she has returned and i think this would be Another great statement by Rhea Ripley re leading into WrestleMania. But Nia, it won't hurt Nia to lose this. And it won't hurt her moving forward. So with that, I would have to say that Rhea Ripley in her home country, in front of her fans, in front of the people she grew up with, I think that this one would be a good statement for Rhea Ripley to win and make her way to WrestleMania. Now, of course, with that being said, you're probably not going to see the United States Championship be defended here. Gunther is having a little bit of issues from what we understand with Visa and stuff. So, of course, we're going to see other matches throughout the night that would basically be more or less fillers. You might have just a quick segment with somebody. But of course, one match that we can almost guarantee that we're going to see is the United States Championship Logan Paul. We think, leading into this, that he's still going to be champion at Elimination Chamber. He's going to at least get a, a decent pop from the crowd. Not sure how light Logan Paul is in Australia. But his opponent, we do believe, might be Kevin Owens going into this. They said on SmackDown that Kevin Owens was never going to get another title shot. That Logan Paul wants someone new. That he's tired of people calling him part-timer. He wants a real threat to the title. So we're going to see what happens. I think Kevin Owens is deserving. You can probably make this one a no disqualification. And... That way, if outside interference does come in, it won't cause an issue. It won't have the match in just how we've seen it end at the Royal Rumble. And I think that Kevin Owens should walk out victorious here and be a four-time champion for the U.S. title. But yet again, Logan Paul did sign that multi-million year contract. So we'll see what they do. Of course, Kevin Owens would be the fan favorite here to win that. Now, going into that, you also got to look at it at the aspect of there's going to be several different wrestlers in the elimination chambers as well. Uh, we have an idea of who we think will be in each elimination chamber. Just going off of things we've seen leading into WrestleMania season. And after Bailey picked Io Sky and basically The Rock selected per se roman reigns so a lot of things are getting kind of mixed around here it might change complete landscape of what we're looking at but with that being said becky lynch needs to be in the women's elimination chamber for number one contender at rhea ripley at wrestlemania uh she stated that she needs to be shown that she can beat Rhea because she doesn't think she can. This would be her moment to do that. Win Elimination Chamber. Go to WrestleMania in Philadelphia and beat Rhea Ripley. Now, will Becky get through 
the Elimination Chamber. Will she make it to WrestleMania? The odds are good for Becky. She is a main eventer herself. She knows how to go through the works of the Elimination Chamber. But some other people we would like to see and see them prevail or even if they don't win, it helped them move farther into the career on the main roster. Starting that off with Tiffany Stratton. Now, we did just see Tiffany get signed to SmackDown. So there is that possibility that she could be in this type of match. She done very well in the Royal Rumble. She was technically one of the five women that were still left on the barricade after the Royal Rumble that they shown. So there's a good possibility we can see her in this match with Becky Lynch. It would also give her more, I guess, push since she just joined the main roster. But yet again, we don't know how they're going to work it. With that, you have Liv Morgan, who has just returned uh, from shoulder injury, who was third on the list of women to be in the ring at the Royal Rumble. It was her, Jade, and Bailey. So I do believe Liv being in this and working her way back to the main title picture and to WrestleMania, this would give her that good push as well. Chelsea Green done a tremendous job in the Royal Rumble. She has been tag champions with Piper Niven for a while. And I think this would be the start of her breakout as a solo competitor on Raw. I think it would help her character. Also, you could possibly see her eventually get the women's title uh, after WrestleMania. But you never know. They may push Chelsea Green to WrestleMania. But I do believe she should be in the Elimination Chamber to continue to grow her character on the main roster. Naomi officially got her track signed on SmackDown this past Friday. Bailey going against EO Naomi would be a good fit to go after Rhea if that were the route they wanted to go. They could also have her go after the tag titles again that she technically forfeited. So, several different options, but to get her back into title runs and give her a decent push coming back elimination chamber is a great place to start now the last add-in to the elimination chamber that we could see happening is indy hartwell indy hartwell is would be home in this you would get a huge pop we haven't seen them do much with indy since she came to the main roster she's been with uh, candace LeRae, and she did come off of an injury as well that's why she gave up the NXT Women's title. I think that she would get a good run in the Elimination Chamber. I don't think she would be first eliminated. But I don't think she would be the last two in the ring either. Either way, Indy would be a great fit for the Elimination Chamber. Because she does have that fighting mentality. And knows what it's like to be a champion on one of the brands. Of course, all of these women have been champions whether it be nxt raw smackdown so i think this mix you got plenty of face plenty of heels to go after rhea ripley at wrestlemania now with that being said there has been matches that built up over wrestlemania that need to be finished and when we say need to be finished we're talking about the <laughs> with that being said we know that there is a tournament currently going on for the number one contenders for the undisputed tag team champions Finn Balor and Damian Priest we truly think that the Miz and our truth are the ones that need to be taking the titles off, even though it would be absolutely crazy to see it happen. The Miz has been doing great 
tag work with our truth our truth has been getting in the head of the judgment day i just don't see it not working i could see them being the reason that they drop the tag titles here and this would also help with damian priest working towards cashing in his money in the bank contract on either seth or either roman or either cody or the rock who knows at this rate but i think it's time for them to drop the tag titles and the miz and all truth taking them off of will not just be hilarious per se it would also end a great storyline that they started with the miz and all truth getting back together and truth coming back from injury so at the royal rumble you've seen a fatal four-way between roman randy and la knight so la knight and aj styles have been having a inner feud before this doing it and this will carry on to the elimination chamber this match is very very heated uh they have a true hatred in the ring for each other at the moment the promos between these two have been absolutely fantastic this one you could also see being kind of a no disqualification type match or no holds barred falls count anywhere whatever you want to call it because you need a clear winner here and i think in our opinion la knight would be the best aspect to win aj is never going to hurt him to lose it didn't hurt him to take the pin at the royal rumble but la knight is still trying to push and we could see him pushing towards a mid-card title and then eventually possibly getting that main title in the end now we truly have no idea what's going on with roman cody cody seth so let's just imagine that seth and cody are going to be going head on head against each other at wrestlemania 40 or let's just imagine cody is going to go after roman I, I we really don't know and all because of the people's champ this past friday but these are the people we want to see in the elimination chamber and get that title push at wrestlemania so to start that off we have andrade he came back at the rumble looked extremely great in the ring done great spots had a great run we just wanted to see him get that push he deserves and i think this would be it put him in the elimination chamber let him get his moment in there if he wins he wins great fantastic if not we can see him getting back in it you got money in the bank you got another rumble i mean there's several avenues for him to take now with that being said number 30 in the royal rumble sammy Zayn, uh has been in almost every title picture there has been recently and i think him getting in the elimination chamber would be good for him coming back from injury due to drew mcintyre it would also help build up the elimination chamber because sammy is a huge face all over the world when it comes to the wrestling industry and sammy Zayn could build towards a ending feud with drew mcintyre towards wrestlemania we know drew mcintyre's contract has not been signed past wrestlemania so we don't know what's going to happen there but Drew McIntyre has been in another heel level as of recently. And for him to go and challenge Seth Rollins if he wins would be great because he could finish what he started and wanted to do. Him winning and going after Roman. I mean, there's so many angles you could put each one of these competitors. But Drew would have the most clearest path to what he wants also with that a good add to the elimination chamber would be chad gable why chad gable's never been in one he has also never had a true solos title we've seen what he can do against gunther in the ring and i think it's time we see him get a main title push 
it's well past due. He has the talent. He has the ability. We've not seen him as much with the Alpha Academy. Maybe that's what they're working towards. Who knows? I could easily see him running the table and getting into the fourth or even the final three. With that, we do have to always include the Aussie icon himself, Grayson Waller. He has been huge on promotion of the Elimination Chamber. He's been doing all the interviews, all the talk shows, all all the small promotions that you see. So he has to have some fun way of being in this match, whether he even hosts the damn show. You never know what they're going to do with Grayson Waller, but if they add him in here, he'll get a huge pop. The crowd reaction will be good, but we do not see him winning this either. And our last competitor in the elimination chamber that we think would be a good fit would be Jinder Mahal. Jinder had a great run with Seth and we think that him getting back into that title picture, getting him back on the main roster and working him all the way back up to where he was would be great and this is a great start for him and then possibly see him in Money in the Bank. He'll get another title picture shot. He'll get another title if they do it right. But of course, they just got to build it. So out of this lineup here, because of course we don't know if this is the final set of individuals who will be in it. But if it was for us, we would like to see Andrade win the men's elimination chamber. So with that being said, let us know in the comments who you think should take the Elimination Chamber, who you think should win the tag, the United States, and the women's from Rhea Ripley and Nia Jax. Wrestling fans, we appreciate you all for hanging out with us. Until next time, we're over and out.